Hey guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and I'm just going to show you around this 2016 Mazda BT50 Highrider. Now it is an incredible work vehicle and it is decked out for it, including the steel tray. And I'm just going to walk you around the car and show you exactly um, what you're getting yourself into. Starting at the front here, um, considering it is, as I mentioned, a work vehicle, it is actually in really good condition. The front actually doesn't have um, many stone chips at all. There are one or two that we've touched up in the front, but you can't even see it. Um, now the actual front grille on these, uh, this Mazda BT50 has that nice um, iconic Mazda grille at the front, the chrome surrounding with the black grille and the big um, Mazda badge right in the middle there. We've got these huge headlights here, just give you plenty of visibility on the road, on the work site, no matter where you are. The indicator is built into the front corner of that headlight there. And um, these black covers here don't actually have fog lights in it, um, they are just um, fill-ins for uh, where the fog lights would be on the on a different spec. Now, along this side of the vehicle, you will notice the paintwork is actually in incredible condition. Um, and we have four steel wheels in this car. Now the wheels um, are actually in really good condition considering the age of the vehicle and its use. Uh, however, being steel wheels, you're not going to get be too worried about a couple of scratches on it at all. Um, the tires themselves are in actually really good condition. Um, we have plastic side mirrors and door handles on this car as well. The benefit of that is if it gets damaged on the work site, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to replace a mirror or a door handle. Um, and if I open this up, I'll just show you the actual condition of the inside. Now it has been looked after very well. Um, the bolsters on these seats are actually in really good condition as well. And the scuff plates um, are barely marked at all. And a benefit, um, a way that you know the previous owner has been careful is if there are scuff marks along the door, because then you know the previous owner has been kicking the door open, which as you can see there are none. Um, so the previous owner has gone through that extent of looking after their vehicle. Now, moving along the back of the car, you will see that massive tray there. Uh, it does actually open up on all three sides. Uh, to do so, there is a lock um, just here and two on the back. So, um, nice easy access from all sides on this, um, on this tray. And it is actually in really good condition. Now, as you can see under here, there is a tow pack attached to this car as well. The um, tow tongue should be in the cabin somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we, don't, we just don't leave them on the cars when they're in the yard because things go missing if we do. Um, you've got the ladder racks in the back of this, um, this tray as well. Um, so if you do need to store, uh, store extra things on top, you've got that option for you as well. Now, onto the next steel wheel. Once again, pretty much the same. There are uh, maybe one or two marks that I can see, but being a steel wheel, it is a cheap fix. It's more durable than an alloy, um, and the tires still have plenty of tread left in them. Uh, the diesel fuel filler cap is on this side, so um, you just need to slide that open, uh, put the key in there to unlock it, um, fill up and then obviously lock it again. Uh, once again guys, the paintwork on this side, much like the other side, really good condition. Uh, there is a minor mark there, maybe from a, someone's door handle, at, um, maybe from someone's door, sorry, at, um, at a parking lot or something, but the actual paintwork in really good condition. Now. Um, there's also a touch up there, but guys, as I said, it is a work vehicle. You wouldn't expect um, anything less, but it is actually in surprisingly incredible condition um, for, its, for its use. Now, once again, last and final steel wheel, much like the others, there is a slight scuff there, but the, uh, the actual tread is in um, really good condition on that tile. All right, guys, having a look under the bonnet now, it is uh, powered by a five cylinder 3.2 liter turbo diesel engine and it does have a six-speed automatic gearbox. Now, the engine itself does output a power rating of 147 kilowatts and a torque rating of 417 Newton meters. Um, so it's really good for towing with that, uh, with that torque rating. Um, power output isn't bad either for, um, for a work vehicle. Now, its fuel consumption is 8.9 liters per 100 combined and depending on how you drive, you could see an average fuel distance of about 899 kilometers for full tank. Alright guys, taking a quick look inside this BT50 now, starting off in the driver's side door, um, you do get your front driver's side uh, window is automatic up and down, and then just next to it you've got your power window control for the um, passenger side as well. Just under here you've got the um, window lock button, so if you want to stop your passenger from playing with the windows, uh, you can do that. And then just up here we've got all our power mirror controls as well. 
Um, on the right hand side of the um, steering wheel on this slope, we've got our indicators and headlight controls. And on the, on the left hand side, all our washer and wiper settings. Now on this steering wheel itself, we've got cruise control on the right and media settings on the left. And something I will point out, um, as I keep going through the interior, you will notice that the interior is fairly basic. Uh, now being a work vehicle, it does make cleaning a lot easier. Uh, they ha there are vinyl floors because, uh, say if you get into the car with muddy boots, you can just spray the floors down with, um, with a hose and uh, not worry about having damp carpets after that. Um, but yeah, moving on into the, into the center there, there is a little screen up there uh, for the radio. So it does show you um, um, what you're listening to. And in terms of media options, all your hard buttons are down here. So you've got CD, radio, AUX, um, and um, your phone as well. So if you connect your phone to, to, the, um, to the Bluetooth um, or your dials, so you do have a number pad here to, um, to make calls and um, all your, uh, you do have voice control as well in the steering wheel. Just below that, all the hard, hard dials for the air conditioning, and below that again, our stability control setting and a 12 volt socket, which I'll just knock the cap off. Um, but it is a covered 12 volt socket there, and a little bit of storage just under here as well. Now, um, your shift is here and if you put it in drive and then knock it to the right you can shift through the gears manually if you um, need the extra power and then two nicely sized cup holders um, a hard handbrake and that leather wrapped center console there so it is a uh, two-part console so you have you can put a phone or wallet or something in there and then you've got all that space um, just in there as well now um, there isn't much in terms of a back seat, but as you can see, if you do need to use the back seat in an emergency, uh, there are two seats back there as well. Um, we have kept the rubber floor mats in the back with the tow bar, and as you can see from the interior condition, this car has been looked after really well. So what we're gonna do now is jump outside and wrap up the video. All right, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video on this 2016 Mazda BT50. As you can see, uh, it is very well equipped for all your work needs. It's also a blank canvas if you want to add more to it. Things like bull bars, bonnet protectors, uh, maybe toolboxes in the tray. However you want to customize it, you do have that, those options as well. And uh, just one more thing, it does qualify for a premium mechanical protection plan with us. And what that is, is it covers you for the next five years or 200,000 kilometers on the clock on 181 mechanical and electrical components of the vehicle. So it is incredible value. You also get 10 years of platinum roadside assist with that and $3,000 claims with unlimited claims. So really good value there. And if you're using our in-house finance, uh, Julie and Mario can tailor a finance uh, repayment package for you, um, which will work with that payment and um, work within your budget as well. So. Um, if you want to discuss finance, if you want to discuss the car, if you want to um, come take for a test drive um, or just get more information on it, the number to call is 9907055. And just before I go, you need to check out our Google reviews as well, uh, if you haven't already. We're sitting on 4.8 stars with over 800 reviews from customers Australia-wide. So people enjoy dealing with us. We make the process nice and easy, and we like to make sure that you are getting in the right car and that you're buying a good quality vehicle from the right people. So once again, the number to call is 9907 My name is Josh, and have a great day.